the people here at the prep are really what make it the prep. You know, I think the classes, obviously, and the academics and the extracurriculars are great. But at the end of the day, I'm really just going to remember like moments with my friends and just, you know, going to basketball and soccer games, you know, going to the CIF um, semifinals with my teammates. And you can see like my teachers are on the sidelines. And I think just having that community there supporting me has been really, really rewarding. Personally, I'm really proud of my mural just because, you know, I started it sophomore year and I finally got the chance to see it up on my senior year. Um, but I think just the collaboration from my friends in art classes and um, my teachers, you know, Ms. Sudak, Ms. Carrier, it was just a really rewarding experience to be able to see it um, from start to finish. And I'm also a valedictorian of this year's class, so that's you know, I'm, I'm really happy, you know, I'm really proud of myself for that. But I think really it was due to kind of the teachers here and the small environment and all the people I've met that kind of, you know, inspired me. I definitely would say that I'm much stronger and much more capable than I originally thought I was because I think inherently, you know, I'm a very introverted person. And I think coming into the prep, I didn't really know who I was, but Coming out of the prep, I'm very confident in not only like my academic abilities or intellectual abilities, but also just the ability to find things that I'm interested in and pursue them. Because obviously here at the prep, I got the chance to try a lot of different activities like art and soccer and service and stuff like that. So I think going forward, I'm not really worried about you know what I'm going to do or what I'm going to pursue, but only the fact that I am capable of doing it. I'm thinking of studying neuroscience just because I'm in the advanced science and engineering program and it's kind of, you know, instilled a love of the sciences, but I'm also interested in the arts and kind of the humanities. So I think I'm just going to try a little bit of everything and see how it goes.